What's up guys, I'm Ari from Wirefly.com and I'm here with your Wirefly review of the Samsung Sunburst. This is my second take of this intro actually because I keep wanting to call the phone the Starburst, like the candy. But the Sunburst is running Samsung's TouchWiz interface. It looks a lot like the Mythic and the Solstice, kind of a combination of the two. But you can pick up the Sunburst at Wirefly.com for free, so be sure to check that out. And now let's get to our video review. Like usual, we'll start off with a quick tour of the Sunburst. You can see our glowing indicator here that's separating the Sen key, N key, and Back key, uniquely enough. And you also have a nice chrome bezel surrounding the front of the phone. And a plastic backing. This is a nice and slim device, again very reminiscent of the Solstice and the Mythic. Also made by Samsung for AT&T. It is Samsung's TouchWiz interface, so on the left side here you have a collapsible menu of all the widgets available. Then you can drag and drop those widgets to your set of three home screens. And you can customize those wallpapers as well. And it is the pretty standard set of Samsung's TouchWiz widgets that we've seen before. And on our home screen here we have a music player widget, so we have a nice shortcut to the music player. Of course, you can drag and drop these wherever you want. Shortcut to our web browser, and also a nice shortcut to voice commands. And on the left side of the phone, you have a volume control, and also a micro SD card slot. It does support up to a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Unfortunately, no micro SD card comes pre-installed, but there is 189 megabytes of memory already on board. And then on the right side, you have a proprietary port for charging the phone. That same port, you can also see, accepts a pair of headphones. So no standard size 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the phone. But you can choose to listen wirelessly using a pair of Bluetooth headsets. You also have a lock button. So that will unlock and lock the screen to prevent accidental key presses. And you actually have three different ways that you can unlock the screen. Again, you can use your physical button there, the touch sensitive button by holding down, or any number of gestures. And these gestures are customizable. So if we draw a triangle, for example, it'll unlock the screen and go right into our browser. And you can customize that triangle for any number of things. If you want quick access to your inbox, you can uh, change that up. So you do have five slots here that are fully customizable. And also a dedicated camera button. That camera button controls the 2 megapixel camera on the back of the phone. And it's going to be pretty standard quality that you'd expect from a 2 megapixel camera. And also that mediocre video quality from more entry level cameras that you would also expect. And the Sunburst has a 3 inch resistive touchscreen. And resistive touch, meaning the little bit of pressure, does need to be applied in order to affect action on the screen. So that's going to be the opposite of your capacitive touch screens. You basically read, read your finger and don't require any pressure. It is 240 by 400 resolution, so a fairly crisp and vibrant screen. It is one of the more responsive resistive touch screens available. We are pretty impressed with its responsiveness. That'll extend right down to the keyboard, which we'll check out in a second. And on the bottom here, we have our dial screen with access to your contacts menu and also text messaging. Then a dedicated contacts button. You can sort contacts out into groups and favorites for easier access. And then, of course, your full menu. It is your grid layout. You have access to your mobile web browser, messaging options. And you do have mobile email support. Get into that and show you the services that, that it offers. So you do have support for Yahoo Mail, AOL, AIM, Windows Live, Hotmail, AT&T, Gmail. You can also try it out with a number of other providers as well. Although there's no guarantees there. You also have AT&T GPS for turn-by-turn -turn GPS directions, a number of pre-installed games and applications available. So a few game demos there. 
applications, AT&T's social net is pre-installed. So that'll give you access to Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And of course you have AT&T's App Center for downloading more games and applications for the phone. AT&T Music, where you'll find your music player. You can also shop for and download music to the phone. And you also have Music ID for identifying music playing in the background. Instant messaging support for AIM, Windows Live Messenger, and Yahoo Messenger. Yellow Pages Mobile. Your My Stuff folder where you can also access your tools. Also a number of dedicated tools. So there's another access point for your camera and voice recognition. You also have an audio recorder, alarm clock, calendar, sketch pad, memo pad, tasks list calculator, tip calculator, units converter, world clock, timer, and a stopwatch. So a nice number of tools available. And then of course your settings with a number of personalization options. If we get into our mobile web, right now we're loading up over AT&T's Edge network. Unfortunately, the Sunburst does not support AT&T's 3G network, so you are going to be limited to edge speeds. Of course, you can use your built-in accelerometer to easily switch into landscape mode. We'll show you your virtual on-screen QWERTY keyboard. And again, it is a nice and responsive keyboard. We'll head over to wirefly.com. And three inches isn't huge for a touchscreen, so it may take a little bit of getting used to the keyboard, but once you do, it'll be a pretty good experience. And Wirefly is a very complex page, so it is going to take a while to start loading up. So the sunburst took about 25-30 seconds to fully load up wirefly.com, which actually isn't bad over the edge network. And it is a very complex page, so a lot of data to load up. And it did a nice job rendering it. We'll go full screen and hold to zoom out. You can see in the left there an indicator letting you know where you are on the screen, which is very handy. Again, you can hold down to zoom back in as well. It's a pretty nice navigation, no pinch to zoom, because you do not have multi-touch support with your resistive touchscreen. We get back into our browser's menu. You can easily switch into a mobile view. So for some sites that may be helpful, probably not for Wirefly.com, since it is so complex. But it does do a decent job collapsing the data down into a more viewable page for your small screen and mobile browser. And then of course access to your favorites. Settings, refresh, home, back, forward. But that is the Samsung Sunburst for AT&T. Remember to check out the Sunburst at Wirefly.com for free. And also remember to hit that subscribe button. I'm Ari from Wirefly.com. As always, thanks for watching.